This is Twit. The, the paper, which was jointly published by researchers from Virginia Tech, the University of Electronic Science and Technology in China, and Microsoft Research. Um, those of us who have been around the Internet for a while, and certainly, you know, you and I, Leo, will recognize the play on words where the paper's title was All Your GPS Are Belong to Us. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, it was All Your Base, right? All Your Base, all your base are belong-, belong to Us. Yes. Yes. It was a b- so, poorly translated video game. Right. So this is All Your GPS Are Belong to Us. The subtitle was Towards Stealthy Manipulation of Road Navigation Systems. So... Essentially, what's happened is, as a consequence of this research, the GPS spoofing state of the art Somebody has set left- us up the bomb. We get signal. Uh, what? Main screen, turn on. This is the game. Ah. How are your base are belong to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that became an internet meme yes. that was quite entertaining for yes. some time. All your base are belong to us. Yes. Zero Wing, a game that came out in 1989. Okay. Yeah. So it's a pretty old meme. Yeah. But it so it's and, still but it l- lives on. Lives on. Lives on. So, um, okay. So, um, what these guys did was to take off the shelf, readily available equipment. Um, they said, we show that adversaries can build a portable spoofer, uh, that is to say a GPS spoofer, with low cost, they say about $223, which can easily penetrate the car body to take control of the GPS navigation system. Our measurements show that effective spoofing range is 40 to 50 meters and the target device can consistently latch onto the false signals without losing connections. The results suggest that adversaries can either place the spoofer inside or under the target car and remotely control the spoofer or follow the target car in real time to prevent, to perform spoofing. So uh, it, the, the spoofer hardware was four components a hack RF one based front end, which is the software defined radio, a raspberry Pi, a portable power source. In this case, it's a rechargeable battery and an antenna. Um, it fits in a small box, uh, like, and like f- smaller than the, the length of a pen, which they showed in their photo to give some sense of scale. Um, and just uses readily off the shelf equipment. What what they did, the way they went further than had been before, was that GPS, you know, like fouling up GPS has been possible, but but essentially replacing valid GPS navigation data with spoofed navigation data, which could be acted on, had never been done before. And that's what these guys did. So one can imagine, I mean, we, we, we've, we've talked about how as autonomous vehicles happen, um, uh, interstate um, and, you know, like cross-country uh, truck driving may end up being replaced by automation. And <clears throat> certainly uh, the GPS system would be one of the main signals that, that these systems would take in. So you could imagine a scenario, and I'm sure it'll be the subject of fiction if it isn't already. Well, now it's much less fictional than it was, where a high-value cargo was rerouted literally by, get, by not coming into contact with it, uh, with the, 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 the self-driving truck in any fashion, but by spoofing its GPS so that it thought it was somewhere that it wasn't and causing it to take a wrong turn, literally, and then continue on a course to a alternative spoofed site. That's what these people did. 
they developed the technology, they they came up with a system which, when tested against 40 humans, 38 of the 40 did not detect anything amiss. That is, they were following their turn-by-turn navigation. Uh, everything looked fine. They believed what their navigation system was telling them, and this system managed to bring them to a destination w- well away from where they were intending to go. So, again, it's not difficult to imagine this being put to various nefarious ends. So the state of the art it has jumped from something that, you know, like where your navigation system is clearly wrong and many people have had, you know, mapping software fail and tell them to drive off the pier and they say, uh, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. Um, in this case, it just tells them to take a turn or a series of turns where, where everything they're doing matches the map that they're being seen, but they're not where they're, they're not at the destination they believe. So interesting piece of work, uh, by that, by those three groups. And, um, they, they talk about the, the need to harden GPS and navigation. That is not to just blindly believe the positioning information that we receive, because, uh, as this demonstrates, it, it can't be believed.